What's going on, YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And I have an exciting unboxing for you all today. Google sent me a package, and I already took a peek. I already know what's inside, and I'm definitely excited. Now, before we begin the video, comments are disabled. YouTube automatically disabled them, and I have been in touch with support, and they refuse to fix it. So for now, if you want to say something, I posted on my Instagram, same as my YouTube name, a picture of the box and please comment on that or just mention me on Twitter and I will get back to you. I always look at my Instagram and Twitter every day. So here we go. Let's get into this. And people comment like, why did you disable the, the comments? Like I did not do it. YouTube did it. And they, ha, huh, it's frustrating. But here we go. Look, look, look. It's the Pixel 3 A XL. When I got sent the Pixel 3, I really wanted the XL. Really, really wanted it. But as time went on, I really, really liked the size of where I can reach everything with one hand and didn't have to use two hands to use my phone. So I've really enjoyed the Pixel 3. Well, now we have the Pixel 3 A XL. And uh, they also sent me some other goodies, such as a bag with a big giant G on it, which is awesome. I can carry some stuff around. And I'll let everyone know I'm a Google fangirl. <laughs> and they sent me a case as well, which is awesome. So we have a little something to protect it until we get a UAG case. Because I put UAG cases on everything. I'm not sponsored by UAG. I follow them on Twitter. I think they may or may not follow me back. I don't know. I'm not sponsored by them. They don't, you know, they send me cases for phones. I just love their stuff. And I don't use any other cases anymore. Unless it comes with a phone and I have no other case. And if you watch Rookie oh, with Nathan Fillion from uh, Destiny, the voice of Cade, there's an episode where the female officer has a, a UAG case on her phone. And I uh, went to Twitter and took a screenshot of it. <laughs> Anyways, there's the case. We're going to throw that on there. Very simple. Very simple. It's got the Google logo around the back of it. And I am one of the first to have it. I have had this for... A few days now, but I have not uh, unboxed it. So this is the pop socket that you can use. Team Pixel. I'm not a pop socket person, so I'll let my daughter have it if she wants it. But uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's open this thing up and talk about it. Oh, it's got easy to open pull tabs there. That's cool. That's awesome. Cause now it's like I don't have a knife on me. So let's talk about it. All right. This is a $399 phone. This specific version, the XL, is $479 at the time of filming. Obviously, one day that will change. Now, I'm not the best at reviewing smartphones. That's why I rarely do it anymore. I leave that up to Android Police, Android Central, Marquez Brown Lee. You know, the people that do a really good job at it. And Marquez Brown Lee, you should definitely check out that video. He, you know, basically just gave it a super high reward. Uh, it's one of the best, it's the best camera you can get in a phone that's just $400 and Android police actually said this phone makes every other sub $500 phone not worth it it's it's just not worth it so for the price you get an absolutely amazing camera one of the best in any smartphones and you get uh the stock Android experience I usually buy Moto G's for my daughter because they're like $299 with decent specs and this being $399 you know, like, if I was to replace her phone, I would replace it with the 3A, the non-XL version. A phone for this price is, you just, you can't do better. And this is a Type-C to USB adapter. What I use this for is if I record a video with my Pixel 3 and it's on my phone, the fastest way to get it off my phone to my computer is to connect this up, put in a flash drive, and then transfer it to my computer. So that's, that's just the easiest way for me to do it, and that's what I use this for. Alternatively, you can use it for like an Xbox 360 wireless controller or adapter or something. Lots of different uses for this. And then in here we have got the charger. It's 5 volts 3 amps or 9 volts at 2 amps, by the way. So this phone has 64 gigs of storage, 4 gigs of RAM. It's like a Snapdragon 600 series. And the Pixel 3 is the Snapdragon 800 series. So it's going to be slower, but... You're going to get an amazing camera. You're going to get an amazing price. You're going to get the very latest version of Android. What does that mean? If new like vulnerabilities or hacks or something comes out, you're going to have an operating system that's going to have a defense against it at the earliest time possible. While other other carriers such as Samsung or while other other companies such as Samsung and Motorola and LG have to put their skin around it 
and test it thoroughly and make sure that nothing's broken and then ship it out. And it's several months, possibly more than a year behind. Whereas this is day one. I mean, I get updates literally on a monthly basis for my Pixel 3. You're going to get the same experience, which is amazing. I don't review phones anymore because I just, I feel that I'm not very good at it. But this is the best phone I've ever used, hands down. I mean, I do miss some of the note features with the pin for the very once in a while that I pulled it out and used it. You know, and some of the gimmicky features were kind of cool. But dude, this is, this is just straight from the mouth of Google. You cannot get any better than that. It's it's amazing. I love the fingerprint scanner. Works every single time. I love the way the recent app switches back and forth now. And uh, you can do it this way. Or you can just simply swipe the taskbar. This is the same experience. So let's turn this on. And let's talk about it. So for $479, which is the bigger version, the smaller being $399, you get a headphone jack. I do not have a headphone jack. I've got a microphone and a charging port. That's it. This has a headphone jack. And I used to use my phone for Discord whenever I, you know, had issues with it on my computer or I wanted to use the, L the LTE. So that way if I got kicked off the internet on my Wi-Fi or on my Ethernet, I was still going through LTE. And that headphone jack is important. You can charge it up while you got Spotify or Google Music or YouTube or Discord or anything going. It's just, it's great. And this feels great. This honestly feels absolutely fantastic. That button's in such a perfect spot to reach. And I couldn't think of a better place to put it. I wouldn't put it in the screen. I wouldn't put it here. I, I would honestly just keep it right there. That is, you pull it out of your pocket and boom, it's ready to freaking go. And it doesn't have a notch or it, no, it just, it doesn't. The Pixel 3 XL had a notch. So, it comes with a free month of Google Fi, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign up for that. Since I have Auth and my watch and everything going through this phone, if I did not have the Pixel 3, I would use the Pixel 3a as my daily phone. Hands down, no questions asked. But, I have the Pixel stand on my nightstand near my bed, and I absolutely love the wake-up feature that this offers. Before I wake up, before the alarm goes off, it makes my phone screen get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter, and then my alarm goes off. And most of the time, I'll wake up because my phone screen's so bright next to me, and I don't need the alarm itself to actually go off, unless I'm facing the other direction. And also, it puts your phone on do not disturb mode, and it does a lot of extra things that just a regular wireless charger does not do. This phone does not have wireless charging. I have a desk job, where I have a wireless charger, two of them for both of my phones on my desk. And I have my phones charging when I'm at work. And honestly, I don't ever, I don't think this Pixel has ever actually seen a charger plugged into it. I just use wireless charging all the time now. This does not have that. So I would be forced to always plug it in. You can use this cable to connect both of your phones together and copy your apps over. But I, I want to set this up as a new experience, as a new phone. These days, I just use my phone for talking and texting and playing hill climb racing. That's about it. I have all my stuff syncing all the time. I've got everything on the shortest possible. Like, as soon as I get this notification, I want to see it. I, want, I don't want to wait an hour for it to pull my new notifications. And one of the great things about Google is if you have, like, a, a Chromebook or a Pixelbook or something, it'll automatically take the... I th honestly think this is one of the best fingerprint scanners I've ever used in a phone. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. It never messes up. Oh, well, that time I barely touched it. But it never messes up when I actually try to unlock my phone. I've never had an issue unlocking my phone with my fingerprint. By the way, the squeeze feature on the Pixel 3, I never actually use it. Oh, this has it. This has squeeze for assistant. Let's try it. There we go. That feels good. I don't have a gorilla handshake, so. Uh, I like having it always on display. So there we go. And this is what it's all about, guys. This right here. This. Nothing you don't need. The smallest amount of apps possible. If you just want a phone to make calls 
receive calls, send text messages, re- receive text messages, maybe use the messaging app to send someone a picture of your new baby or something or a new toy you got. You don't have to install anything else. Everything it comes with is everything you need. That's what I love about it. So the back camera can go to 16 by 9, 8.3 megapixels. I prefer widescreen photos. Front camera can do... Uh, well, front, I think front camera's fine because most of the time I'm using it straight up and down anyway for like an Instagram photo. The back camera can do 4K 30 frames per second. Front camera can do HD 1080p. It's got video stabilization. And there you go. Now, like I said, if you want to watch a review and if you want to get some other people's opinions of this phone that have had time to thoroughly test it, go on YouTube and search for reviews. There are people that do absolutely wonderful reviews of phones and devices and you can't get any better than this, honestly. Thank you, Google, for sending this out to me. I'm a little sad that I have the Pixel 3 because I really always wanted the XL version, but I can't give up wireless charging for a headphone jack. I just, I can't. I I use the crap out of wireless charging, and it doesn't have water-resistant and stuff, so you lose features, but you're talking about a $399 phone versus a $799 phone or the $479 phone and like $800 something phone. You're talking about a huge price difference of literally half the price. To trade off for wireless charging, getting a headphone jack, and getting a little bit slower processor. And before we end the video, we're going to go ahead and slap that case on it just to see what it looks like. Because honestly, that phone is so white. I've never had a white phone actually, and I just don't see it staying white for long. So let's throw it on there. Very nice. Very nice. That wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If my comments are still broken, please reach me on social media until YouTube acknowledges it and fixes it. Please subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.